Oh, this one is from Mexico. I was coming from the plaza about 2 in the morning because they closed the clubs at that time. I was about 14, 15. I used to like getting drunk. There was some one shit called Blanco Madero, Aguardiente. Oh man, I loved it. Man. I used to get drunk. So I was young and uh, my aunt used to tell me, me portate bien. No te portas bien, te puede pasar esto, esto, esto. O el diablo se te va a parecer, te va a llevar, whatever. Whatever, man, you know, I mean, raised over here in the projects, growing up right there, you see all kinds of shit, so that shit was like, that shit ain't gonna scare me, you know, whatever. I'm walking, I'm walking, and I gotta go through through a, a primaria. The primaria is, is, la levantaron where it used to be a Campo Santo, which is a cemetery. So I'm walking by there, and it's long, man, it's like three blocks, you know, it's, it's all together, so I'm walking, and you can feel the coldness and all that, I'm like, ah, oh. that's the only thing that made me, like, not want to go to the club, you know, because of that, you know, but you still want to go. So as I'm walking back, I'm walking home, drunk, walking from side to side, like, ah, uh, uh, you hear the, in the back, like, you know, like, like horseshoes or something, you know. I turn back, I don't see nothing. I keep on walking. And again, you hear them. I'm like, what the fuck? I look back, I don't see nothing. I'm got I got I'm passing, I'm like halfway through the school, two more blocks, three more blocks, and I'll be, I'll be in my uncle's pad. So I keep on walking, as I turn back, I see a horse. And the horse is galloping, whatever, like the way, you know, me la cabien, como si era un pichicado chingón, la calle, you know, walking all cool. And um, I look to it, and I don't know if it's the drunkenness or whatever. That's what tells me, you want to ride? The horse spoke and told me, you want to ride? I look at him, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, hell no, this shit ain't happening. You know I mean? it's, it's crazy, some good shit, you know? I'm, I'm gonna keep drinking this. I kept on walking, and it's still it's walking right next to me. But as I look back, his ass is staying back. It's just his body moving. It's just his front legs moving, you know? His ass is back there, so I'm looking at it like, Fuck, yeah, I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's up with this? So now I'm, I'm, I'm already getting, you know, like, the deal chills, I'm getting a little scared, so I'm walking a little faster. And he's walking toward, like, you know, walking with me, you know? And he's like, come on, get on, I'll take you. You're gonna get tired. But in Spanish, you know, subete, te va a cansar, yo te llevo. I looked at him, like, oh, man, like, should I or should I not, you know? But at the same time, scared, at the same time, like, what's going on, you know? So I get to the corner. Once I get to the corner, I gotta go down to with my hands pad. Once I get there, I take off. Boom, right, I broke. Ah, like if I saw it one time, I'm, I'm running. As I'm running, I hear the... So he's running like towards me, you know? Once I go inside my, my aunt's pad, I opened the door and I ran in there and I told her, there's a horse following me. She opened up the door. You could hear the footsteps, but you can't hear the You can't see the horse. So she opened the door and she's like, again, and then like, you don't hear it? I'm like, yeah, they don't understand. So she, we're looking for it like, fuck this the horse said, you know? And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't see it, but he, then my body always stretched out like a big old stretch limo, but it was just the ass was staying there and the front legs were moving. It was talking to me, so I was like, what the fuck, you know? I mean, and I you know, weren't, you weren't high and they just drunk. No, I was drunk, but I wasn't high, you know? I wasn't, I wasn't like hallucinating shit or nothing like that, you know? But, you know, it's freaked me out. That one scared the shit out of me. That's why I ran, like, oh shit, I'm gone. She also heard the foots. Yeah, she also she, the, the she, heard, she heard she heard them, but we couldn't we couldn't find them. We were looking around, looking to the corner, looking to the corner, nowhere to be found. What did she tell you about it though? Nothing. She just told me lay down, and then the next day she told me about about how my uncle, my other uncle, he passed away, and um, the same thing happened to him. That uh, I told him it was a black horse. And I told him that, but his his had a, had a jinete, had somebody riding him, and it was from the plaza following him. All the way to go and with the same thing that she was, he was telling him, get on, I'll take you. You know, you're gonna get tired, or whatever. The same thing. And the, when he hit the corner, he ran too. He went inside the house and it disappeared. But his head, it was a black horse with, with a jinete, like a charro. You know, and it was following him. You know, so I told him, he's like, it might be the same one. But I mean, what about the jinete? I'm like, I don't know. You know, but it's, it's the horse. You know, so I don't know.